Hello viewers, this is Simil. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a data sheet that is the EMIS Excel sheet. So let's go to our browser. So when you open our browser, we shall type in EMIS. We shall type in the EMIS. Then we shall click uh, the website link. It will open. And then we shall log in. Click login. Then we use what? Uh, sign in. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you that uh, the generated Excel sheet, we should download it and then uh, enter the, the data can be uploaded to the website. I know some of you are having challenges in uploading the Excel sheet. Uh, one, it's because you're using an old version of the Office. Some of you are still using Microsoft Office 2007. That's why you are having challenges in uploading uh, the data to the website. So make sure you have an updated version, which is 2016-19 will be the best higher versions compared to uh, the lower versions. So we shall go to MS Data Upload. You click on Data Upload. Then you move to Update. After Update, after Update, we shall click on Learners. Learners, the usual steps that you use when you are entering information. And then I'm going to download the Excel sheet. I try to enter one student and I upload that uh, one sheet one record onto the website photo to show you that excel sheet uh, can be uploaded so we go to add update learner then you click on uh, up upload we click on upload uganda learners then we download the excel sheet so there is a video on down on how to download the excel sheet make sure you check that out so let's wait until our Excel sheet is being generated. And then we we'll try to enter uh, the details. Then after we upload it, it actually works. Uh, depends on the version of the office uh, that you are using. And some of you are having challenges with the loading pages, the loading the website. Make sure you are using the Google Chrome Google Chrome is preferred, so make sure you update or you download the Google Chrome, Chrome the current version, before you can uh, load any page. Okay, here it is. It's downloading. Okay, it is done. As you can see, my Excel sheet is done. So I'll open uh, the location. Then I'll try to copy this. I'm going to copy this onto my uh, created folder on the desktop. So I'll copy this and then I'll just minimize this onto my uh, desktop. So I want it to be on the desktop. It is here. So let me open it. So you have to give it time to open. It has a lot of features and a lot of options, so you have to give it time to open, to load all the features. So this is the current uh, application, the updated application, which is Office 16. But you can use 19 and above. Please don't use 10, uh, 7 below. So we click on Enable Editing. Okay, our application has loaded. Now it's time to enter. The records so i'll just click in here and then i type the surname of the of the student so the surname of the student the surname of the student is Muchiri. Muchiri. Muchiri hope the first name is hope the gender 
the gender you select, female, there when she was born, there when she was born, 27th, the month of, uh, of November, the year that she was born, 20, 2007. So you can see the Excel sheet is, uh, it highlights the major, major section. So you have to fill all these highlighted uh, cells. Uh, which class? Form 1, uh, PL index number. The PL index number of this child Exam year when did this child do speed seven it was in 2020 2022. Does the learner have mean? No, uh, type of orphan not applicable. District of birth shall look for for Kampala. Kampala. Kampala City, uh, special need, you can put talents, this child can act, this child can play badminton, and so on. Health issues, you add. Then the surname of the parent, the surname of the parent is Muchiwi, Muchiwi. James, Uchiri James. Telephone number of the parent. Uh, is a guardian, is a parent. Is a male. Relationship, is a parent. Parents or guardian mean. So we type the name number of the parent, which is that. Eight, six, eight. That's the telephone number of the parents. So I'm done with entering the record of this learner. Then I have to save changes. Make sure you don't uh, save the file independently. Just save changes. You can come here or you press Control Save to just save changes. Or you can come to File and you choose what? Save to save the changes. Then you can close. You can enter as many records as you want. Uh, after entering the records you want, go to our browser. So we shall go back to our option, which is upload data, upload data, update data, learners. Learners, we move to update learners information, upload. So we choose upload this time. Then we select where our file is. You click that. Then you locate where the file is. The file is on the desktop, which is here. You click on the file. We say open. Then after you click upload. So when you click upload, the file will continue. When you click upload, the file will be uploaded. So you have to be patient until all the files uh, have been uploaded. So the reason why some of you are having challenges here in uploading is because of the, uh, the software version that you are using. You are, use, using, you are using the outdated or the version which is not uh, recommended by the, uh, the system. That's why it's showing you data error. Then that use Excel dot uh, XLS something like that. So you can see I've successfully 
I uploaded this learner. So I only entered one record as you guys see. Um, is a female. Then I can now forward this information to Nira to be verified. So here you have to be very careful when you're entering the, the nini number of the parent because that if nini number has to be validated by the Nira uh, Nira system so that they can give a learner learner's identification number. So you can go ahead and forward uh, the information submit for verification by Nira. So we have to submit to Nira offices or Nira systems to validate or to verify the NIN number we entered into the, uh, the child's details. So after verification, a child will be given a NIN a number. So when you insert uh, a wrong NIN for a learner, then the learner will be rejected. You won't be given a learner's identification number. So we shall go ahead and submit. So after submitting, you can see to give us a report uh, of the files that we have uploaded. We uploaded uh, the user is that, then that that subject file name like that. Then NIN num summaries. So you can see they have not verified the NIN. That's why it is pending. So when they verify the NIN, it's correct. It will be under what successful. Then to show us here means processed that is the learner's identification here and that's how you upload the excel uh, sheet to the web website so don't say this method doesn't work it works very well just that for you're using an uh, old version of the, of the office so try to update your system uh, so that you can upload the information faster and correctly thank you very much for watching uh, See you in the next video of how to upload the photos of the learners after uploading this Excel sheet.